what's going on you guys welcome back to our channel my name is Adolfo my name is Maria and if you're new to our channel make sure to subscribe also make sure to follow us on Instagram my Instagram will be right here and my Instagram will be up here okay so for today's video we are going to be answering some questions that his cousin has prepared for us like, are you smarter than a fifth grader yeah. those kind of questions whoever gets the answers wrong uh, we're gonna pie their face well not pie their face but like put whipped cream on yeah. their face especially yeah. basically how it's gonna work my cousin is gonna be um, reading out the questions and then we're gonna write our answers out on some paper and show it to him. Whoever gets it wrong gets pied. So let's go ahead and start. You ready? What if you're both wrong? What if we're, we're both, both wrong, wrong and we're, we're both like, wrong? Oh, okay. Alright, so these are indeed fifth grade questions. Let me know you're ready. Ready? Oh, yeah. Cover your answers, you don't cheat. I know, I'm gonna put this right here. A divider or what? Yeah. <laughs> What is the freezing point of water in Fahrenheit or Celsius? Doesn't matter which one. What the hell? What? Like what at what point does water freeze? At what temperature does it freeze? Yeah. In Fahrenheit or Celsius? Mm. I don't even know. <laughs> Got my answer. Ready? Alright. <laughs> Damn, Koki, I'm sorry, but, but Maria, you're wrong. Or Koki, Koki's right. It's 32. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so. 32 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 degrees Celsius. Alright, so. Wait, Fahrenheit. how many Fahrenheit? 32. Or Celsius. I put. I oh, you put, put Celsius? Celsius? Oh, oh, shit, well, then damn. then you're wrong, too, dude. So we're both yeah, you're fight. both wrong, yeah. Well, so. You're close, though. Good job. Alright, you wanna get five first or my, my apologies to the viewers. I read it wrong. That was good or what? Okay. Alright, so she's getting this to the face. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll do it softly. Oh, I feel so cold! One, two. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> this is sticky, babe. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so far, the score is 0-0. Zero, zero. What are the three states of matter? What? what? The three states oh, of matter. Know. You know, like. Yeah, I do know. You don't know. You don't get it? No, I don't get it, bro. Like, uh, how can I like, simplify? Like, give me like a little example. Like, a little example. So, like, um, what is what is air? You know. What? No, you can't give hints. No, I'm just kidding. What is air? So three states. Okay. Ready? <laughs> All right, ready? <laughs> You stupid. Mexico, Canada. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me, bro? Oh my God, Jesus! Don't <laughs> bro, please don't don't okay. in my face. One, two. <laughs> oh shit! All right, you guys. Next question. Go for it, bro. We're ready. All right. This one is really easy. All right. You say. What is the thinnest layer of the Earth? What's it called? Oh, dude. The, I know the center of it. I'm gonna tell you right now. It's not the mantle. The mantle is the thickest. It's not the nucleus either. Man. The nucleus is part of a cell. That's the core. That's the core for a cell. But like, what's the thinnest layer Bro, of the, the earth? Uh, what letter? letter yeah, what letter? Yeah, what letter does it start with? The C. With the C? The C. Yeah. I'm probably like giving bad hands because I'm relating it to food rather than like actual signs. Ready? All right, five. ten, nine, eight, seven, six, know. five, four, three, two, one. I don't know. All right, it is the crust. Oh, nice. He was saying like it's, it's just, it has the same name as something you can find at Chuck E. Cheese. Crust. Pie has crust. Sandwich has crust. Nice. Yeah. All right, so the score is tied one to one. <laughs> Cause yeah, I feel like you can go like no, that. No. Mhm. Mm you did it to me the first time. How many states made up the U.S. before Hawaii and Alaska were included? There's 50 states minus two. Yeah. Yeah. 48. 48. Mm -hmm. None of us get five. Good job. You both got two points now. All right, this next question is a math question. All right. So, could you guys do me a favor and on your paper write 
12.3178? Yes. Please round it to the nearest thousand. That's you're gonna give us a question like nine plus nah. plus nah. three times ten <laughs> nah, round, parentheses. Round it to the nearest thousand, please. Th thousand. I don't even know. I forgot rounding. Please reveal the papers. Okay. You're both wrong. Alright, we got both get pied in the face. Yeah. Oh, again. After like, your face feels sticky and oily. You wanna go yeah. first? So, yeah, I'll go first. I'll go first. Yeah, these are the last Myself? questions, no. right? And then that's the bonus question. Nah. Me? Yeah. Okay. Again, again. You have to stay there for like three seconds. One, two, three. I was on that? In mathematics, specifically geometry, what's it called when two shapes are exactly the same? Shapes? Yeah, shapes. When they're exactly the same shape, like same height, width, like every angle is exactly the same. Mm. So I suck at geometry. Guys. It's it's like it's yeah. like you're you're getting like two circles, right? And they're the same size. No hint. No hint. Acute. No. Mm -mm. Acute, Acute is, is an less angle. Than 90. And parallel is two straight lines. Uh -huh. But now what, what I'm talking That's about what is. I was thinking about too. Now what I'm talking about is like say these two napkins, they're exactly the same in terms of length and width, and the angles are all 90 degrees. Damn. So yeah, I don't know. What? I already have my answer down. I can't copy you. Well, mine is definitely wrong because this is a pie. Okay. Oh, wait. Right. Oh, I think she so, got it right. So, before I say who's right. Oh, someone actually got it right? No. Oh. Um, Collateral? I'm pretty sure that's like when things crash into each other, right? Circle. And circumference is the the middle of the, the middle circle. It's the actually circle. it's actually the area of the circle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you're both wrong. The correct answer was congruent. Congruent. Oh, yeah. oh my. Yeah, I can never. All right, you guys are gonna skip this one because like the feeling of the whipped cream on your face does yeah. not feel good at all. Do you know what the score is? Yeah. You, two. You two. guys, you guys are tied up two two. Are you guys ready for nothing? Yeah. All right. It's another mathematical question. Geometry, right? Oh my goodness. How many sides does a hexagon have? I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not eight. That's an octagon. Oh yeah. I can't do two answers, so it has to be one. That's what I was has gonna to do one. too. Be... Alright, well you know what? You can write two answers, but once like you show them to me, you gotta commit to one. Alright. Did you write? So you wrote seven? seven or six. Seven or six? Okay. You wrote five or six. I'm gonna right. go with five. You're gonna go with five? Or you're gonna go with mm, six. Six? Alright. Maria, you are correct. Yeah. <laughs> a Bro, a hexagon has six. Six was my first option. Thank God you. damn. Kind of like to. It looks like I'm at the beach and like. Yeah, life sounds good. What yeah. is the most famous fault in California? The famous fault? Fault. Like a fault line? What the fuck is a fault line? You know what a fault line is? Tectonic plates. Bro, mm -hmm. what the hell? I don't know. I can give you a, I can give you a pretty good hint. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Um, people say that, like, say if a, a big earthquake would it happen? It would activate that vault, that fault, and uh, you know, from San Francisco to I LA. Got it. I got it. Yeah. Review all the answer, please. San Andreas. San Andreas vault. Is San Andreas fault is correct. All right, we got to tie up three three. I'm be nice. Oh yeah, huh? Get your right there. Ooh, sorry about that. All right, you guys. So it's three three. Uh, this, this is pretty good. Who shot Abraham Lincoln? Bro, what? Like, how do you even remember that? 
I could never remember. Bro, this, a this, name doesn't even come to my head. This is like fourth grade stuff, dude. Exactly like fucking ten years ago and shit. Well, you yeah, know you're smarter than a fifth grader, bro. <laughs> nah, I'm not. <laughs> nah. I'll take the loss. Uh, take the, all right, so you guys don't want to answer this one? No. Do you uh, know well, it? Well, the answer no. was you guys don't know it. What well, was John Wilkes Booth? Yeah, bro. You never heard that? No. I I've heard it, but like it doesn't uh, come to mind and shit. Um, all right. Well, then now I'm kind of scared about the actual question, the last question. I mean, I would still a tie three three. So if you guys don't get the bonus question right, I'm gonna have to come up with another question. All right. All right. What is the energy of a moving object? What is it called? Of a moving object. Of a moving object. I did a project on this, bro, in sixth grade. Damn. What is the first letter? The K. This is K? Yeah, the K. Babe, why are you trying to cheat me? <laughs> trying to Dude, cheat. I literally put the thing so I won't cheat. Alright. Boy? Yeah, bro, because she knows you're about to write. I don't know. I give up. Go. You give up? Alright. Right. The answer was kinetic energy. Let's nice, fucking right? go. So, 4 3. What was the end of the score, you guys? And you want to get paid? Yes. Yeah, it's all the right, last one. Alright, so, Adolfo, I'm so you got a, uh, what is it, like, like 40%? Yeah. So you're still not as smart as a fifth grader, even though you won. Don't matter, you won, babe. <laughs> <laughs> you want to play yourself for me? Alright, you guys, so we're going to go ahead and end up the video here. We hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to... Like comment share and, and subscribe. subscribe and make sure to follow us on our instagram we're gonna be leaving that follow in the me beginning. too yeah